what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is jane you're welcome to jane by design so today i'll be showing us how to sew this lovely pattern gather dress that i drafted i'll leave the link in the description box if you have not seen that uh, the pattern drafting of this video i'm going to leave it in the description box thank you guys for your like please if you're yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel and put on notification bell so right now i have cut out my pattern on my fabric i added um half an inch at the top and at the bottom towards the waist because that is the only part where i don't have um a sewing allowance to all the other parts when i drafted this i had my sewing allowances so i have the main fabric and the lining and i also have the yoke okay so right here i have the front and the back and what i'll do first is to join the front first so what you need to do is open up the front this is the front yoke right here and this is the mid section with the lining and i'm going to set that aside and the next one is the lower part of the dress okay which is also the part where i have the box now on the main fabric that is on the ankara fabric i ironed an interfacing on it so for the yoke we are going to be gathering it into the breast um, area so that all of that fits nicely into that opening that we have on that side now for the lower part i said that i ironed an interfacing i'm going to set that aside as well so what i'll do now is to go join um the front piece first so to join them you're going to be placing the mid section on the lower part and you're going to be matching all of them together so i also notched this as well so I'm going to be matching all of my notches, right, so that they align properly. And after that, we are going to be stitching um, that part closed by half an inch, right? So that's what I'm going to go do now after I have pinned down. All right, guys, so here it is. I have joined them together, and this is what the... Uh, mid section and the lower part looks like now moving on to the yoke for the yoke where i have my bust angle i have um, done a gather stitch on that place i did a loose stitch and now i'm going to be gathering it so i'm going to be gathering it to the tune of what i have on my under bust okay so you gather and ensure that it fits nicely under your under bust so here it is after gathering now what i'll do is to place it on eight right sides facing each other and at this point i'm going to use my okay my pins to pin down all of the gathers so just gradually do this section because it takes um, a lot of fiddling for you to get it done properly so here i'm going to fiddle it all until all of the parts are properly aligned with each other and after that we are going to go stitch up so i'm going to go stitch up the underboss to the underboss to the main uh, yoke of the dress and after that here is what it looks like so i've joined the front now i will do the same thing for my back all right so this is what the inside looks like beautiful now for the back i have my two back piece and i'll do what i did for the front i will place the mid section and the lower section on each other now i have also notched now if you're going to be doing the kind of pattern that i did because i cut out my darts you have to notch the point so that when you join them together you have the right point that you're joining so here i have my notches and that's what i've followed i will pin down my center to the yoke of the back and i will do this for the other side of the back okay i'll do this for the other side of the back as well i'll pin that down 
and also for the lower part as well i'm going to pin it down so but first after pinning um down the upper part there's the yoke and the mid section we will take it to the machine and we are going to stitch it up all right so we'll do this for the lower section as well you're going to match them right sides facing each other and then pin make sure that your notches align properly and you pin down after that you're going to take it to your machine and you are going to be stitching it up so here i have stitched up the back and this is what we have okay okay so whatever you do for the main fabric you also do the same thing for your lining so this is the lining of the front i have joined it the same way i joined the main fabric now i'm going to use the lining to cover the stitch we have at the underbust and to do that at the top where we have the yoke you're going to fold it you're going to turn it to touch the right side of the main bodies and you're going to ensure that it is sandwiched inside so the lining is going to be on its right side okay so you take the right the right side of your lining you place it on the yoke and then you're going to be matching all of the corners at the underbore so that's what i am doing right here please use your paint it's very very important whoever tells you that using a paint is for beginner artists is a lie okay don't believe that lie at this point i advise that you use your paint so i'm going to use paints to hold down all of the curved the cuff at the on the bust and all around it after pinning down we are now going to go and join just go and stitch it all the way from one edge to the other from one side to the other and after stitching this is what it looks like i'm going to go iron this out after ironing now this is what the front looks like and all of my stitches are all concealed inside all right so for the back here this is what the bag looks like i've turned it with the main fabric and the lining now onto the zipper i will fix the zipper for us to fix the zipper we are going to be uh we're not going to fixing the zip all the way to the lower part i'm going to stop three inches before i get to the lower parts of the back and that's where the zipper is going to stop so for us to fix the zipper i'm going to turn my fabric right sides facing each other and i'm going to use pins to secure them down and the point where i want the zipper to stop i'm going to place a mark there and then we'll stitch the rest of them closed okay so right here i fixed my zipper this is what it looks like you can see the lower part also the zip didn't get to the lower part now onto the gathered part of this dress you can measure the um triangular shape you have on your dress and then you multiply that by three or you can just multiply your waist circumference by three to give you the required length for your gathers so here i have a piece of fabric and on this fabric i have it in the length of 14.5 so you need to know how long you want your dress to be so you know what length to cut out for um, the gathered side of the dress so here i have 14.5 and for the width of the dress i for the width of the gathers i have it on my waist circumference multiplied by three so that is what i have i have this for the front and i also have this for the back all right so here i've cut out two pieces one for the front and one for the back and for the back i will further split it into two again and then gather it separately so right here i'm going to go run a loose stitch on both of them and here i am gathering up all of my gathers on both sides of my fabric okay so just run a loose stitch on it do not tie the ends and then just pull the thread to create the gathers so right here i'm going to start with the back and you see the part where i closed at the back i have opened it up again and i have two separate pieces for my back now what i'll do is to join them separately so i'm going to take one part of the back and i'm going to place it on the right side of the back and we are going to be joining it right side facing each other so i'm going to pin it down 
please ensure that you are only joining the main fabric and your gathered fabric together without the lining and you're going to be pinning them both together and you're going to be stitching them closed all right and after that you will use your lining to turn it inside out so that you have a clean finishing on that side all right so here i have done this for the first part and this is what the the first side of the back looks like so i'm going to show you how i was able to achieve this cleanness that is going on so here i have my fabric here i have the lining i have the main piece that is the uh the, the main fabric and also the gathered fabric already attached together so what i'll do is to fold in just tuck in the fabric all of your fabric inside also your gathered fabric tuck it inside so that that so that you have the fabric that's the main fabric and the lining facing each other so ensure that when you are tucking it in it's the right side that is facing inside and the wrong side is facing you so you can see what i'm doing here how i'm doing it in the video please this part is very very important you pay attention to it so that you'll be able to get it right so right here i have tucked it in now i'm going to use my lining to I'm going to join my lining and the main fabric with the uh, gathered piece in between them and I'm going to pin down all of the sides together all right so that's what I'm doing here and after pinning I'm going to go and stitch it all closed so guys here it is I've stitched it and I didn't stitch all the way down by the side I left out um, three inches at the side so that I'll be able to turn it in, inside out so I'll be able to reveal the good side after stitching. So right here I'm going to um, gradually pull out the main fabric. I'm going to pull out the fabric from the inside so we can reveal what we have been working on. Alright so here you just gradually um, pull out your fabric from the inside and after pulling this is what we have okay this is what it looks like you can see that both sides of the back is neatly concealed and it's looking beautiful now the two sides where we have the opening for the back all right we are going to be joining them together uh, with a top stitch so i'm going to be doing a top stitch at the sides of the back so that we can close that off and also at the center back as well you can see that it's open okay i'm going to also join that together so that we have one back and our back is closed and secured so guys after stitching the sides where we turned where we were able to bring out the fabric inside out by the sides of this dress i've stitched it close and also for the center back i've also stitched it close and here is what it is looking like it is looking really really good and put together and it see how clean it is looking see how the lining has cleaned it off on the inside also for the front i've done the same thing i've turned the lining and the gathered fabric inside out and i've concealed all of my raw edges they are all inside the fabric they are not showing so what i'll do now is to join the back and the front together i've pinned it on the shoulder line i've also pinned them together at the sides as well and right now please ensure that your fabric they match each other so that when you stitch it both sides and the shoulder you don't have the prints running differently on the back or, or the front so i've ensured that i got i got um the placing right for the prints and i have stitched down the sides and also the shoulder as well so you can see what we have right now all of my sides has been closed so onto the sleeve i've done a video on how to cut the sleeve i'll leave the link in the description box and here i'm going to go ahead and fix my sleeve so i've pinned my sleeve all around the armhole of the dress and now i'm going to run a stitch on it to join the two together okay so after joining my sleeve this is what it looks like 
right now we are going to um, work on the neck now to finish off the neckline of this dress i have cut out facing for this all right so i'll be using facing to finish off the neckline of this dress so right here is my facing for the front and the back and what i'll do is to go join them at the shoulder line together so i'll join the two of them at the shoulder line after joining uh you can go ahead and iron out the seam open so that they are flat all right so you, or you can also add your interfacing at this point if you want to so i've ironed that down and now what i'll do is to join the facing and the main fabric so you're going to place the facing on your on your dress on the neckline of your dress you are going to face place them right side facing each other and you're going to match it shoulder to shoulder to ensure that when you stitch the two shoulder seams correspond and then you are going to just pin it all around just take the facing and pin it all around the shoulder from the back all the way from the back concealing the zipper till you get to the other side of the back so you're going to be pinning from your zipper line at the back all till you get to the zipper line at the other side of the back all right so after pinning you are going to take it to your machine and what you are going to do is to run a stitch that's a half an inch stitch from the zipper line all the way to the other side of the zipper line okay that's what i'll do right here i'll take it to my machine and do that and then you can see that excess zipper we have at the top we will be cutting it out because that is no longer important and please when you are fixing your facing to your fabric to your garment ensure that you open up your zipper you zip your zipper down now what i will do to give the neckline a smooth finish i'm going to trim off um, the seam at the neckline so that when we iron this down it stays flat and the seam at that point is not too bulky so right now i'm just cutting out the excesses on the neckline of the front and the back and after cutting it out i went ahead to also notch all the curve on the front and the back since we are working off on curved edges you need to notch so that they also remain flat and your neckline comes out beautiful all right after notching now what i'll do next is to turn this inside out so that we can reveal the front of this um, neckline and at the zipper side you just go ahead and trim off that edge so that when you turn the zip inside out the edge is pointed and it's not folded inside so that's what i've done here i folded in my um, facing inside and you can see that the facing is still poking outside of the dress at this point you can either do a top stitch or you can use your hemming tape to um, hem the neckline of your dress so for me i'm going to use a hemming tape this is what a hemming tape looks like if you don't know what it looks like so just cut out as much as you want place it in between the lining that's the facing and the main fabric and you are going to iron it out and after that i also trimmed the facing to a reasonable size so that it also looks good on the inside so right now the neckline of my dress is fixed i've trimmed the neckline i've trimmed the facing sorry i've ironed the tape in between them and you can see that the facing is staying put inside it's staying flat inside the dress okay so at this point now what we'll do is to hem the lower part of this dress and i'm going to be hemming it by one inch so i'm just going to fold it over in two and i'm going to stitch on it i hope you guys like this video if you do please let me know in the comment section give me a like leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching i will see you guys so after hemming my dress this is what i have this is the front and the back thank you for watching and see you guys in my next one bye